Hey everyone, it's Imagerex and I just logged in and immediately saw this guy uh, in front of me. You can actually move it around, which I think is a pretty cool addition to RuneScape. I think they should actually start doing that with all of the uh, skill guides and everything. Looks a lot better than this uh, crap, I would say. Make my screen go black and everything. But it says, click you to spin the school of fortune. Now I've actually looked into this a little bit. I'm 100% sure. Uh, I'm pretty sure that you guys have already uh, probably heard about this. And if you haven't, you really should have. It, it happens as soon as you log in. You get a chance. If you remember, you get two chances or two tries. And here, I'll just click it. So, press the button to stop the wheel. I have an option between a green dehyde body, coins, a large lamp, which I want, uh, a medium lamp. A lucky Zamorak God Sword. Now, the, oh, holy crap! A lucky Spectral Shield, a highly magical shield from the Corporal Beast. I want that. Um, I'm pretty sure these are just like self things, and then if you die, you get um not so great of like a they if you die they they're gone, but if if you don't die and you just keep them, you can just keep them forever. They're untradeable, but I'm gonna give it a go. All right, so first one, wieners. I got 50 coins. That's cool. I'm gonna claim the item and play again. Okay, so this time I get to choose between a Sardaman God Sword, a large lamp, which again I still want. Um, a lucky armadillo helmet. That's those aren't those aren't nearly as cool as the spectral shield. But anyways, let's press the button again and oh Jesus Christ, that's so annoying. Anyways, claim the item. Now uh, I already claimed the item, didn't I? No, claim the item. Done. Well, I think I disconnected, so I'm going to keep on talking just just for now, I guess. Um, the the things that people are probably going to think about this is they're introducing new items into RuneScape, which ah oh, logged in. Congrats, there's my IP address. Whatever, I don't even care. I'll I'll block it out later. Um, huh. what happens if I do it again? Oh, I get to claim the item. Okay, so the th the things that I think people aren't gonna like about this. Okay, sorry, back, 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 come back. Um, uh, what is this guy wearing? That's kind of cool, I guess. I feel like I know what these are, but I'm not gonna be able to say what they are. Weird. Anyways, um, sorry. The things that I don't think people are gonna like about this is it, it sounds like they're introducing new items into the economy, which they're not entirely. They made them untradeable, and immediately you drop them on death um, unless you you pick to protect them. So they're not exactly um, you're gonna have them forever. It's more like a just I don't know a lucky chance to get an item that you might want. People are probably It'll probably get to the point where you get so many of them, I'm guessing since you have them daily, uh, it'll probably get to the point where you have so many of them that uh, they'll start taking up bank space and you won't really need them, they'll start discarding them. But I do think that it will drop the prices of the items because uh, they are actually introducing it to people that are saving it. And one thing about the, the economy is that the hardest economy, I sound like a pro right now, and I sound like a total nerd. One thing about it is that the more people that have them, uh, they're the long, kind of lasting items that they want. God, a IP address pin. Okay, I'm not gonna do that. So the things that really come into play, if you have a long-term item like uh, Bandos Tacits or something that you're not gonna sell, like I have a Dragon Pickaxe. I've had this Dragon Pickaxe for like nine months now. Now, I, I've never bought another Dragon Pickaxe, so that's how they kind of go about. Like, you're going to buy one item, and then you're going to keep it, and you don't really sell it for a long time, and then the price of that item goes down. 
So the same kind of thing has been happening with uh, Torva and Pernix and every all those high level items they've been going down. I feel like I'm, I'm lecturing about economics and I know nothing about economics. <laughs> but that's the so same sort of thing that I think is going to happen with these items. I think that they're just going to kind of build up until the point where they start dropping in price for the actual item and they're not going to seem as useful. But the other way about it is that they could just be a kind of helping thing. It sounds like Jagex is trying to make it so the game is more available to like uh, people. Because I know that if you're extremely poor in this game, then it's not nearly as fun to 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 play. If you if you can't afford something, oh, I don't have a tinderbox, do I? I can still see, but um, if if you don't have the kind of the, those items that you need to have to play the game, or that you really want, it's kind of not as fun. So they're trying to make it more available to people, which is nice. But then it's really hard to make money for the items. To train skills, some skills are really viable. It's just, it's just a weird way to go about the game. Um, it's, it's like you need to start collecting your own items because you won't be able to buy them otherwise. Or I mean, like for training or lord, you'll have to start collecting them. I hope you guys get what I mean. Um, I'm gonna end it there. You saw me play the Squeal of Fortune twice, and uh, I just kind of wanted to make a video about the update this week. I might also be going for the new cape this weekend um, if you guys if you guys want to see that happen I will um, record basically almost the whole thing I'll record parts of it probably up to an hour's worth that sounds pretty reasonable um, I might not even get it there, there's a good chance of that too there's the part with two, two jads I heard so dreading that one jad's hard enough um, but that's all I really wanted to say, I guess. There just needs to be like some sort of way to get around uh, dropping prices so that skills are more obtainable. Because I know that herb lore is going to be a hard to train skill for a while. So that's it. Um, you can start endorsing Franklin Roosevelt's ideals if you want. Let's go on a bank holiday for the GE. No one sell anything for the next week. <laughs> Uh, I haven't sold anything to the G for a while, but I will finish at that thought, I guess. I, I've really just been talking randomly for quite a bit of time, and if you listen to that, thanks, I guess, but I will hopefully see you guys tomorrow, maybe next time, I'm not sure. Happy scaping, everybody. Hey everybody, it's I'm Edge Rex. Uh, and what am I doing? This week? Had the I, I am actually going to show you how to do a solo trip. I've done a little bit of it, cool. and I'm rushing to the next